réalité meilleur prix. Hello and welcome. I'm Trudy Mason. Today's project is a practical one given how many places are eliminating single-use plastics. That means that if you go into a fast food joint for takeout or you go into a cafeteria, you won't have access to plastic cutlery. But you won't have to worry. You'll have this cutlery roll that you've brought from home. What's inside? Well, everything you need for your meal. Knife, fork, spoon, don't forget the straw for your beverage. Also, you'll have a little fabric napkin if you're trying to reduce your reliance on paper napkins. In terms of sizing, you base it on the height of your cutlery. My cutlery is about nine inches tall. I added about an inch and a half and got a 10 and a half inch square. I also had to decide how to tie up my roll fabric ties or elastics. And I've tried both. Both work great. These elastics, by the way, you can find anywhere. They come in many different colors. You also have to prepare your fabric ties first if you're using that option. You cut a piece of fabric about 10 inches by one and three quarter. Turn the ends in by a quarter inch. Press the length of the fabric in half open it up and then press each side toward the middle. And once that's all pressed down, you fold over again, encasing all those raw edges. And all you have to do is take that to your sewing machine and run a line of top stitching down it. You also have to prepare the pocket that holds your cutlery. And for that, along the top edge, one of the long edges, you turn down a quarter inch and then turn down a quarter inch again and top stitch that. Then you're ready to sandwich your fabrics. And there's so many wonderful choices at Fabricville. I love using contrasting fabrics for this. You start by putting one of your 10 and a half by 10 and a half inch squares face up. On top of that, you put your pocket on top of that, you put your two ties about halfway between top and bottom. And then if you're using elastics, you position them about two and a half inches down from top and bottom like that. And over top, face down, your second 10 and a half by 10 and a half inch square. Adjust so that all the edges are even. Make sure if you're using ties that you've tucked those out of the way so you don't sew over them. Go to your sewing machine and sew a quarter inch seam all the way around, leaving about a three inch opening for turning, basically just big enough to be able to get your fingers into. You turn the fabric inside out. You might need something like a knitting needle or a chopstick to help you poke out those corners. And then you give the whole piece a good press. And where the opening is that you use to turn inside out, make sure you press under a quarter inch on each side because after your pressing is done, you're going to do a one eighth inch top stitch all around the edge and that top stitch will secure that opening closed. Next, you have to figure out where you wanna put your slots for your cutlery. I decided on a width for my knife of about one and a quarter inches, about one and a half inches for my fork and spoon, and then about three quarter inches for my straw. And I used a ruler to draw those on with a fabric marker so that I could go to my sewing machine and sew those lines. Up at the top, I went back and forth a couple of times. I actually sewed off of the pocket and then back onto the pocket because you know that those points are gonna get a lot of wear and that double stitching will make them extra secure. Then for the napkin, you have to take any of your scraps. Doesn't have to be a square. Here's a rectangle. That's just what I had from my scraps. And I went all the way around the perimeter and folded down a quarter inch 
all the way around again, folding down another quarter inch. And then I came back at the corners to miter them. I've added ink lines here so you can see this more clearly. What you end up with is a grid and it gives you the marking lines to cut off that top triangle to eliminate the bulk of that in your seam. So right down the middle of that diamond, you're going to clip that off and then this mark gives you the fold point for your mitering. And then you refold your edges by a quarter and a quarter again on each side. It's a little bit finicky, but you're going to use pins, of course. That's what it looks like when it's all pinned. And you go to your sewing machine after you've done each corner like that, and you top stitch. And that creates a napkin with enclosed edges and mitered corners that can stand up to a lot of washing. Your little bit for the environment. Thanks for joining me. Les meilleurs prix